This is the adjustable gap cell for the Surpass 3 electrokinetic analyzer. It's a measuring cell for small rectangular pieces of flexible or rigid planar samples. A great advantage of this cell is that you are working with small sample surfaces in a fully sealed system. This is particularly useful for analyzing the surface CETA potential of membranes, for example. This video shows you how to mount your sample in the adjustable gap cell and how to mount the cell in Surpass 3. We are going to mount a flat polymer membrane. First, you need to disassemble the cell. Remove the two screws to open the measuring cell. Now remove the sample holders of both parts of the cell. Use the screwdriver to loosen the screw that fixes the sample holder by its thread. Remove the sample holder from the gasket. Repeat the same procedure with the second half of the cell. If necessary, dry the gasket and the recess of the cell. Note the different heights of the respective sample holders. Make sure you don't switch them. Use the punching tool to mount the sample onto the sample holders. Cut out a suitably sized piece of adhesive tape and place it on the bottom of the puncher frame. The sticky side has to point upwards. Prepare the sample holder and the puncher and place it in the frame. Press down the sample holder to ensure good adherence with the tape. Cover the puncher and tighten the knob of the punching tool completely. Remove the puncher with the sample holder and the excess adhesive tape. Cut out a piece of membrane and place it on the support of the punching tool. The back side of the membrane sample has to point upwards. Place the stack of puncher and sample holder onto the membrane sample. Press down the sample holder again. Punch out a membrane sample piece with a size of 20 mm by 10 mm. Carefully push the sample holder out of the puncher. Proceed in the same way with the second sample holder.
place the lower half of the adjustable gap cell on the pedestal. Insert the gasket into the recess of the cell. Place the smaller sample holder inside the gasket and fix it with the screwdriver. Use the support plate for mounting so you do not touch the sample surface. Insert the second sample holder into the gasket and pull it in completely. Prepare the upper half of the measuring cell. Tighten the adjustment knob by turning it clockwise. Align the thread of the sample holder with the gasket and fix it with the screwdriver. Adjust the position of the gasket and the sample holder until the sample surface is flush with the cell. Close the measuring cell and fix the halves with the screws. Use the screwdriver to tighten the measuring cell completely. Now you can mount the measuring cell on the instrument. Simply plug in the cell and lock it by turning the lever to an upright position. The adjustable gap cell 20 times 10 is then recognized by the Surpass 3 software. Use the rinse cycle to adjust the gap between the sample surfaces while filling the cell with measuring liquid.